An important concept to understand in C++ is the uh, the difference between R value and L value, or in other words, right value and left value. It goes like this. As I explained, C++ has many uh, command keywords, like using a nam namespace and stuff like that. Um, many oh, we could divide up actually the uh, types of commands you give to the C++ compiler, we could divide that up into several groups. Like we've seen before, we have the preprocessor commands, which is stuff that's not really going to be uh, a command for the actual program, it's a, it's a command for the compiler. It's something that the compiler does before compiling everything else. And later on we'll learn about commands that are statements. Um, so this group of commands that I'll be talking about now is called expressions. Expressions are any command that you type which at the end of the day yields, it, it gives us a certain value. For example, when I create a variable int a and then I type in a equals 1 um, this looks like just a regular command which just gives 1 to the variable a. However, this is more than just a simple command, this is also an expression because at the end of the day, some value comes out of uh, this command, which means like this. Just like you can use uh, the number 1 over here, the number 1 really what it does is it gives us, it yields a value of 1. The variable a2 uh, could also yield for us a value, like when we um, want to print out a to the screen, what happens is, in this uh, command over here, a is yielding, it is giving us the value of 1 to be printed out. So these are little things which give out, or in better English, yield a value the number 1 over here gives 1. The variable a over here gives also 1 after this. The important thing to realize is that all of this together also yields a value. The value of whatever is all the way to the left over here which happens to be a. This all together gives out whatever is inside a. Like just as 1 is giving something out which we are using to put into a, a, at the end of the day over here, is also giving itself out. And we can take advantage of that, if we'd like, to uh, put A into something else in the same line. Like if Y were a variable that we made before, int Y, then this command over here uh, takes 1, which is an expression which yields the value 1, and puts that into A. But that's not over because at, at the end of the day, this in itself gives out, it yields a value too. And we take advantage of that, and we give that value to another variable, y. And we can keep on going with this, because this is all an expression, this is all a command which yields out a value from the command itself. Let's see a few more examples of expressions to make sure we got it right. Here's a very simple expression. Oh, by the way, expression commands are one of those things which must always finish with a semicolon. That's one type of uh, group of keywords which must, must finish with a semicolon. So here we have a very short and very dumb uh, expression over here, which doesn't really do much, but it does express a value, the value of whatever number 1 means. Number 1 has the value of 1. So this expression over here uh, gives us the value of 1. What does it mean that it gives us 1? Well, that we could take advantage of that uh, 1 that is being yielded, that is being given out, and assign that to a variable, as we saw in all our previous videos. Here's another expression. 3 times 4. Um, again, over here, 4 by itself is an expression, which gives us 4. 3 by itself is an expression, which gives us 3. 
and all of this together is also an expression which gives us whatever the result is 12 and we can take advantage of this expression and grab what is being expressed grab whatever is being yielded and put that for example into a variable which we may have made earlier here's another type of expression again a very simple stupid one um, let's say we made a variable x so if I just type x at some point uh, even though it doesn't do anything but it is an expression and it expresses it yields whatever is inside x so if x for example had uh, 9 before right now this expression over here is going to give us is going to yield 9 and we can take advantage of that and assign that to a different variable which we may have made as we saw in the previous tutorials that you can assign the value of one variable to a different variable because this is expressing something and this is also expressing something so whatever is being expressed from him goes inside of him using the assignment operator which takes whatever is on the right and gives it to whatever is on the left uh, and all of this together is also an expression which actually just gives us whatever is the leftmost which over here is y so whatever y ends up to be over here could be uh, used to make something else happen like for example put all of that into t or multiply by something and then put that into a different variable etc etc as you see um, since every single one of these things expresses something they give out they yield a number a, va a value it doesn't even have to be a number it could even be a letter with the character type of variable so we could take advantage of what is being expressed and use it for something we might want to use um, on the other hand this line over here is not an expression because it doesn't yield anything at the end of the day when I say on the ed at the end of the day I mean working our, our way from right to left nothing at all is coming out of this command over here the only thing that's happening over here is that the variable x is being created so if I had a different val variable before named r for example I won't be able to assign whatever x is um, and give that to r because what's happening over here is just the creation of the variable x on the other hand number 9 over here is an expression which gives us the number 9 and that's why we could take advantage of this expression over here and give that to the variable x and we could actually have over here any type of expression we'd like anything which will give us some value which we can use with the assignment operator to put into the variable x so this is an interesting line of code over here because is it has in itself expression and it also has in itself a regular command of creating a variable both of these types of commands mixed together in one line now here's the difference x over here is a l value a left value which means it is some sort of variable which is a box that can take in itself a an expression a value but 9 over here on the other hand is a r value a right value because it can only be placed on the right side of the assignment operator meaning you can only take advantage of it from right to left using its expression and giving that to a variable but you can never have the number 9 on the left side of uh, the assignment operator like saying 9 equals 5 will make no sense because 9 isn't a variable a left value a box which can accept in itself some other expression 9 is just a right value it is no more than an expression itself and it cannot accept any other expressions inside of it x is a box it is a variable which can take inside of itself a different value and of course x which is a left value can also be on the right side it can also be an expression